Uh, what's going on YouTube? What's going on Lions Den? On Fox Boy 7, South of 6 back again. Um, I know it's been quite a while since I made a video. I've, I've had a lot of stuff coming up lately and it's just been it's just been so crazy I haven't had time to do anything. But anyways, um I just wanted to I just figured I'd come I just figured I'd come on real quick and, and make a video. Um so I I did make a couple of other videos regarding the last couple games, but I just didn't really I didn't really have the I just never really got around to do, to making the videos. But anyways, I figure I'll make this one. Um, so the Detroit Lions defeated the Chicago Bears at home. Thankfully, God, we finally defended the goddamn den. So we we defeated the Bears at home, twenty to ten. And just going over some of the stats over here, because I got it pulled up right here. So Matthew Stafford got tw he was twenty five for thirty three today, which wasn't too hor which wasn't too terrible, which is pretty good. Two hundred thirty seven passing yards. And he got two, and he got two touchdowns. And we got, and apparently from what I'm seeing here, we got the our, the defense got three interceptions. So the defense was all over Chicago today. But the defense was all over the place. Okay, excuse me. Saturday, I don't, I don't, I'm just so used to it being Sundays. Anyways, um, so the Detroit Lions, the defense was all over Chicago on Saturday afternoon. It was crazy, and I'm just. I just can't believe that, you know, that we did this well against against the Bears. But at the same token, I'm not surprised because we could do we can do decently well, semi decently well against against teams with losing records. But when it comes against teams that have winning records, especially winning records on the road, yeah, not so much. Let's see here. And yeah, our leading rusher was Abdullah with 25 yards. Still no, still no, still no. If I'm if I'm looking at this right, but yeah, I mean it's it, it's just crazy as hell, you know. I mean, I just don't, un, I just do not understand why. I I just don't understand this shit. I really don't. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm just trying, just trying to make sure I'm looking at all this right here. So yeah, so we're passing, so passing yards, the 202 passing yards. So I mean, we still can't really, we still can't really run the ball. Really, we still have no running game. And I still, I just don't understand why we can't really run the ball. It's just, it's just crazy as hell. It's just, and, and Stafford, yeah, Stafford did okay with getting the two touchdowns, and, you know. Our receiving, our receivers did really well. I'm just gonna say that right now. Our receivers did extremely well, and one like there's one there's one person, however, I really want to you know the one player that I really I gotta give him I gotta give him his dues, and that's Eric Ebron, because the fact that he caught a touchdown, he he actually caught, he actually got he actually got five receptions, five receptions for 33 yards. I mean, yeah, it's not really, it's not really all that great, but it's the fact that he finally caught the ball, he's been catching the damn ball. I think somebody finally, I think finally somebody blew, us, finally somebody fucking lit a fire on his ass, saying you need to, you need to stop fucking dropping the goddamn ball. But uh, and yeah, um, that receiving yards, our our receiving, our receiving leader was Jones, like Marvin Jones Jr. He got eighty five, he got eighty five receiving yards. And you know, on rushing yards, I take that back. Our our rushing leader was Theo Reddick, with for for forty nine yards. So yeah, I mean yeah, so yeah, bear with me here. But anyways, it's just the fact that you know, it's just it's just so crazy. I mean, I just 
But there's one thing I will say. Apparently, like, apparently the defense did so well that we held. Like, Chicago could not run the ball at all. Because I mean, mind you, I didn't really catch the game. I, I watched. I, I only watched the uh, the highlights. Sorry about that. I only really caught the highlights. But it's just the fact that you know we were able to stop the. We were able to finally stop the goddamn run, which is which is about goddamn time. We've been needing to stop the damn run. And. And you know we got two we got two touchdowns and and two field goals. And apparently the Bears the Bears were going down the field and then that was when I then that was when I believe Darius Slade caught the game ceiling got the same game ceiling interception which was which was good. But so anyways, bottom line, the Detroit Lions defeated the defeated the Chicago Bears twenty to ten and swept and swept the season series against the Bears. So he swept the Bears. So we got one more home game, guys. One more home game, and that's the, and that's against the Packers in a couple of weeks. But there's one thing I'm gonna say right now. I'm st I'm still skeptical about that game because Aaron Rodgers is now back on the Packers, and I'm not gonna lie. I am the reason I'm kind of skeptical is because Aaron Rodgers wasn't doing so well today. Apparently, Aaron Rodgers was not doing so well today at all. He was not doing so hot because he threw, I believe, it was like one. I think it was like two or three interceptions against uh, Carolina. But of course, mind you, Carolina is a top tier team right now. is a is a leading team right now. But but there's one thing I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this out there right now. I'm sorry, but I don't I don't care what anybody says. We're not making the playoffs, guys. I'm sorry, but we're not making it. We are not making the playoffs. I will damn near shit myself if we make the playoffs. And the reason why I'm saying that, because I believe there's two teams that we need to have lose. There are two teams that we, we need two teams to lose. The next two games that we need to win are next two. I believe it's we need the Atlanta Falcons and we need the Seattle Seahawks to lose. I believe it's the I believe it's the Falcons and the Seahawks. We need those two teams to lose two more their last two. And we need to win our next two, and we're we're go, we're up against Cincinnati next Sunday. In Cincinnati, mind you. So, do I think we could beat Cincinnati? Got me beat on that one. But there's one thing I'm just gonna put out there right now. Um, yeah, we are. We have. This is now our. I believe our 26th or 20, 26th or 27th year without a division title, because. The Minnesota Vikings destroyed the Bengals today, and they clinched the division. So the Vikings are the division champions. So yet another fucking year for the Lions without a division title, without a title. So I really hope you guys are. I, I really hope that a lot of you Lion, a lot, a lot of you. I'm sorry. I feel sorry for you guys, but a lot of you Lions fans who, who you know were, believe still believe that we could take the division this year i'm I, i'm sorry i am so sorry for you guys i really am because it's just i knew i knew as soon as we lost to the vikings i knew as soon as we lost to the vikings at home that was it done i knew it was over with because we felt we put we fell behind three games we were three games but we fell three games behind. I was like yeah we're not we're not making we're not taking the division we're not gonna take it there's no fucking way we're gonna take it I think it was like we fell three or four games behind. I honestly don't remember, but it's not the point. The point of the matter is the Vikings are the Viking. The Vikings have clinched the division, and they clinched their playoff berth. And right now, the Lions have to hope that the that both I believe it's the Seahawks and the Falcons lose out their their next two games, and we win the next two. If I if my if I remember correctly. So. So as far so, I mean, the way I'm seeing this whole entire thing, if by a miracle we pull a miracle off our ass and we do make the playoffs, it's gonna be one and done like always. We we won't do we won't get anything done because if we if we do go to the playoffs, I guarantee this it's gonna be a road game and we're gonna go and I can guarantee. Let's see here if I, I'm gonna pull this up here. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, it's just, if we go to the playoffs, we're, we're, I know we're going to be on the road, but against two, that's what I'm trying to figure out here.
Yep, so, so I just got it pulled up here. So, if we somehow pull it by the skin of our ass and we make it to the playoffs. And, yeah, so we need the Fal we need the Falcons to lose their... We need, to we need the Falcons and the Seahawks to lose their next two games. And I believe we need the Cowboys to lose. So... We have to win our we have to win our next two games in order to make we need to win our next two games and the Falcons have to lose their next two games. So unless that happens, we're not making the playoffs, guys. And even if we spice skin of our ass, we do make the playoffs. We'll be we'll be the sixth seed, and we'll go. And the way it's looking right now, we plan against the Rams in Los Angeles. We won't beat the Rams. The Rams are the Rams are kicking ass this year. We won't we won't beat the Rams. It's just not gonna fucking happen. I mean, I could guarantee if we made the playoffs, if, if we, by the skin of our ass, made the playoffs, Rams are going to... They'll just mop the they'll just mop the entire floor with us. And we will go yet again another fucking year, go to the playoffs, and, lo and not have a playoff win. So, yeah, guys, we... Uh, so, you have... It's tw so 26 or 27 years without a division title. And if we but it's gonna ever ask make the playoffs, then it's gonna be one and done, and and then another year without getting a playoff win. I mean, a lot of you, a lot of everybody are probably saying, How, "You're not a true Lions fan if you have no faith." Guys, have you been watching these games? Really? I mean, seriously, have you been watching these games? I love this team. I love the Lions more than anything. I love my team. I love my Lions, but I just don't. I just don't see it happening, guys. I don't. And if I were the Fords, I would. Like, Caldwell would be on the fucking hot seat right now. I'd be telling his ass, like, if we don't make the playoffs, and if we don't win a playoff game, you're done. This is your like. This should be Caldwell's last chance. That if we do not get a playoff victory, because the division title is already gone. The division title is gone. It's history. We're done. See you bye. That's already gone. But if I was Bob Quinn, I look at I would look at Caldwell, and I look at him and say, if we don't make the playoffs, nor do we get a playoff win, if we don't, if neither one of those happens, guess what? You're gone. You're you're gone during the off season. That's what I tell. That's what I be telling Caldwell. I don't give a shit how many. I don't give a shit how many times Caldwell's taken those playoffs. What matters is that we win a fucking playoff game. A lot of you say, "Oh, Caldwell's one of the better coaches we've had in years. He's taken us to the playoffs like like five or seven years getting here." Guys, how many playoff games have we won because of him? How many playoff games has he ha has he helped us win? I'll wait. And how many division titles have we won under Caldwell? Hmm. I'm listening. That's what I thought. I know a lot of you guys think are are probably thinking to yourselves, dude, Fox, what what the hell, dude? You're not, you're being such a sore loser. I, I mean, you're not even being a real fan. <sighs> yeah, well, being a lot, kind of growing up a Lions fan and seeing all this shit going on, it's just it's just so hard. <sighs> but this that's besides the point. So so right now. The way it's looking right now. Next week we go up against Cincinnati in Cincinnati, and we gotta hope and pray to God that we beat Cincinnati. And let's see here. Cause I was trying to remember who who it was that the. Uh, let's see. The Falcons. I'm trying to remember who it was. The Falcons play next week. I think they played. I think the Falcons play the Panthers next week. So that that'll be one hell of a game. But anyways, um, that's pretty much my video for. That's pretty much this video for this time. Um, I mean, go Lions. Let's hope that we can beat the Bengals. Let's, let's hope we can beat the Bengals. Let's hope we can win the rest of our win the our last two games, and. Uh, you know, finish the season at 10-6, but here's the thing. One game that's scaring the hell out of me is our last home game against the Packers because Rodgers is back, and the last time Rodgers played against us at home, when it was the game, if we would have won that game, we would have swept the Packers. 
He threw that Hail Mary out of nowhere and won the game. So, can we finally sweep the Packers? I don't know. But, but all that matters that next week is we go up against the Bengals. So, we'll just have to wait and see. But anyways, uh... Anyways, if you have any, if anyways, if, if there's anything that I missed about the games or anything like that, you know, comment down, just comment down below or whatnot. But anyways, uh, let's go Lions. Fox Boy Seven Thousand Six out.